The following is a procedure for using Sniffer 430, a professional tracer gas water leak detector. The process involves introducing the tracer gas into the system and then using the detector to locate the gas as it escapes from a leak. This gas, a mixture 5% hydrogen and 95% nitrogen, is non-toxic, non-explosive, and environmentally friendly. It can be purchased in bottles and specialized supply stores together with a pressure regulator and hoses. The gas regulator should be classified for hydrogen and show two values, gas pressure inside the bottle and gas pressure in the system. For the gas pressure to the system and the feed port of the regulator, it is recommended to use a quick connects so that you can switch hoses or gauges if needed depending on the system you are working with. Work safely. Always use your personal protective equipment. Begin by shutting down all water sources and draining water in the system being tested. After pressure is released, close the system and make sure it is isolated. This will ensure that any tracer gas entering the system will only escape through the leak. Connect the gas bottle and introduce the tracer gas into the system through a hose bib, angle stop, backflow petcock, or quick coupler. Let the gas flow into the system to build a pressure of between 30 and 50 psi, which is about 2 to 4 bar. It's a good idea to feed the gas into the line at the same pressure the water was documented at. However, if the leak is significant and you see a drop of pressure, you can work at a lower pressure as large gas quantities escape through the leak. This way you can serve gas and aren't using a full bottle for one job. Now start Jacob's 430 sniffer system and follow the user manual instructions. Walk along the path of piping until you catch the gas. The concentration of gas in terms of PPM will be increased when you come closer to the leak area. Normally the leak is located where the PPM values of detected tracer gas is in the maximum. In some scenarios, the tracer gas will give you a wide radius. In this case, back the pressure off to 5 psi or 0.5 bar to better pinpoint the leak location. In some materials, there will be a difficulty for the gas to escape in small holes or drillings of the material will be needed. Examples are synthetic grass or epoxy-coated surfaces. After finding the leak, turn off and disconnect the tracer gas bottle. The remaining tracer gas in the system can be released to the atmosphere and equipment can be wrapped up.